Does a woman having a whole bunch of tattoos signal that she's going to be a bad partner? Now, this is full-on bias on my part, so take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. But I just saw this story on Entertainment Weekly. Uh, so this singer, Kalani, uh, her ex, Javon Young White, is filing for full custody of their daughter, alleges the singer is in the cult. So let's just read with this, go through this real quick, right? Uh, so basically, the gist of it is this guy, he has, a, they, he has a five-year-old daughter with this woman, and he's saying that she is allegedly in a cult. In court documents, he says he's filing a petition to uh, have access to the child because the cult has controlled her actions and behaviors, including when it comes to the upbringing of the daughter. Apparently, she used to leave their daughter with him when she'd go on tour, but because of this cult situation, apparently this cult leader had a vision one time that said that, oh, this the, the father of your kid's going to potentially cause harm to the kid in, in uh, lethal ways. And so because of that, now she no longer leaves their daughter with him when she goes on tour. And so basically saying that in addition to all that, I guess because she was born in a house, not in a hospital, they haven't established a social security number for the daughter and a bunch of other things. His, his last name is not on the daughter's end name. And so there's just a lot of crazy stuff that goes on. And so, you know, they're saying that the, the, the cult leader performs, quote, religious ceremonies on the daughter with nobody else in the room, which could lead to uh, potential other happenings that are going on with the daughter being touched in ways that she's not uh, consenting to at this age. And so I'm reading through this story and it's all very sad. But then I go back to this picture of this lady right here. Now, let's ask a question, guys. Does this woman look like a woman that is going to be a sane individual? And again, this is me to be completely biased. I'm admitting that up front, right? But this guy, clean cut. I don't know if he's got tattoos or not, but clean, at least on the face and stuff like that. Saw this woman out and about in the world. I imagine it's not like she just overnight got these tattoos. I imagine she probably had this neck tattoo and these arm tattoos for quite some time. And he saw her prior to them getting together, prior to them having kids, prior to them getting married and said, you know what? I want to mess with her. I want to date her. I want to bang her. And if she happens to get pregnant, I want her to be the mother of my children. Now, it's obviously not the best thing in the world to look at somebody's aesthetics and make judgments about them. But I will say this, rarely in my life have I met a woman that had a bunch of tattoos in very visible places like a chest tattoo, a neck tattoo, a sleeve tattoo, and that not been equated with the woman having some kind of trauma in her past, you know, whether she was touched as a kid by her father, whether she was abandoned, abused, whether she was misguided. The point is, rarely have I seen a well put together woman that had that came from a good family that has her head on straight, that is making strides in the world in a positive way, also want to tattoo herself up to ad nauseum, right? And so you as a guy have to start thinking about, okay, it's not that Every single bias out there equates with some kind of truth. Like not every not every woman that has a sleeve tattoo is crazy or had trauma, right? But you got to look start looking at like what does the overwhelming evidence tell you about these kind of women? Like I said, most of the women that I've seen like this, if you talk to them for a long enough time besides just trying to get them in bed and you start asking them about their past and about their family upbringing, and about you know their thoughts and feelings on things, you will see that a fair portion of women that have gone through trauma and bad experiences also have these tattoos. So based on that, just my own personal bias, I don't typically date women that have a lot of tattoos. And one, I honestly, let's just be real, I don't find it aesthetically pleasing. I like women that are going to have pretty much a clean slate. And it's not that I haven't dated women with tattoos. I have. But if they've had tattoos, they've typically been smaller and they've been in places that aren't going to aesthetically ruin the overall look of her. Like if she's got one on her upper back, well, it is what it is. I can't see that when she puts a shirt on. It's not like it's, it's different if she had like face tattoos or she had sleeve tattoos where during the summertime her arms are showing and it's for everybody to see. So I just know for me on, a, on an aesthetic level, I've never been the biggest fan of tattoos. But in addition to that, again, I have found tattoos on a woman at this extent 
to be a really good gauge of guessing about the level of trauma that she's probably experienced. And again, this is not to say that women that don't have tattoos don't have trauma. There are plenty of women out there that don't have tattoos that also went through trauma. But this is also why it's a good idea for you as a guy to take your time in the dating process because these are things that you're going to find out if you're not trying to rush her to bed, if you're not trying to rush her into a relationship, you'll be able to actually talk to her, experience her, and really start asking deep questions. If you put your your uh, Mr. Peter's dick or, or your Mr. Peter brain away when you're dating and really start asking questions and actually listening to her answers, you'll start to get a better idea of what the long-term consequences could be for dating somebody like this. Like, hey, maybe... For all we know, she had all these tattoos and he asked her all the right questions during dating and she was able to answer them to where she gave herself off as being really, really good. They didn't ever do anything wild or crazy. They didn't get into a lot of fights. But I can guarantee you, this is the kind of woman, you can see on her face, this is the kind of woman that has probably gotten into several verbal arguments with this guy. He looks like a little bit of a simp to where he could probably be talked down a little bit. I'm not trying to judge him too harshly, but again, Given what he's going through now, clearly he wasn't able to like get the daughter away from the from the um, the ex because they weren't married, but get the daughter away from the ex. And clearly he was a bad judge of character based on the fact that he saw her and said, hey, she's going to be a good pick. She's going to be a good mother of my children. She's somebody I want to have show up in PTA meetings and I'll be happy to have on my arm like her. Like I know she's talented. She's a good singer or whatnot, allegedly. But like, again... The tattoos really did give away, at least for me, that this woman could be some level of, not crazy, but flip out in some way because of a bad past. Now, the fact that, you know, he wasn't able to read that, I feel bad, but now we're looking at the other end of that, whereby she's in a cult. She had a daughter at home and won't change the last name. She's leaving the daughter with strangers when she goes on tour. And these are things that you guys will say, well, we can't predict that kind of behavior. But again, if you start looking and observing people, you'll be able to start to tell maybe, yeah, it's been a while since I've had some action, but maybe this isn't the rabbit hole that I want to go down because the picks that you make today will have grave consequences later on when you can't get access to your kids or when you exercise to fly off the handle for no reason and all of a sudden blame you for some stuff or not bring your, your kids around anymore or, you know, throw a bunch of accusations at you that aren't true, but because of how the law works, they're going to believe her before they believe you. Like, I'm sad for this guy, but honestly, guy, you should have seen this coming. Now, I don't want to just go making assumptions about people without seeing if I'm actually right. So I said the whole thing about she has tattoos and therefore she probably had bad things happen in her life. Let's see if I'm correct. This is a Wikipedia. So it says here, she was adopted as a kid by her aunt when their mother, she goes by they, them pronouns, uh, had a drug addiction and served time in jail. And then her father also had a drug addiction and died when she was a toddler. So all right there we got... We got parental trauma right there with the mom not being there, the dad not being there, and they're both being on drugs. Not good. She mentioned that she tried to unalive herself after a breakup. So we have a person that's willing to, to get rid of themselves if things aren't going great in their lives. Interestingly, in reference to the baby daddy, so we have here on September 6th, she was dating rapper YG. But a year prior, she had gotten pregnant by the guy who's the baby's father, uh, who also plays guitar in her band. That was in October. So October, she announced she was pregnant. She had the baby in March. And by September 6th of the same year, she was dating a whole other dude with a baby that was now it May, June, July, August, six months old. Does that speak to being stable? I do not think so. And then also in the same paragraph here, we have her talking about how she spoke up about being a survivor of being touched in inappropriate ways and having that go to full physical uh, fruition. So again, like I said, guys, she got a bunch of tattoos and she's been through a bunch of trauma. This isn't every woman, but it really does speak to when women have things going well in their lives, they don't feel the need to put things on their body that are going to speak for them. Like, for example, down here at the tattoo section, she says that she got a flower because she felt that their hand having the flower on her hand would speak for them before they got a chance to open their mouth. So these are the kind of ideas that they start to have like, oh, this tattoo is going to represent this and people will know that. And oh, this will be good because X, Y, and Z. Most women that grow up in situations where 
overall they're having a pretty good life going on, they don't have those kind of thoughts and don't oftentimes feel the need to have to express themselves or use tattoos as a way of blocking out any potential pain. So just want to throw that out there that my bias is not a perfect bias, but this shows here that clearly on some level, this does prove to be true. But let me know your guys' thoughts because I know there are some of you guys out there that are like, I love to date girls with tattoos. Harry, you're crazy for even saying that girls with tattoos like shouldn't be shouldn't be dated or they should be judged in a certain way. Hey, I could be wrong. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you guys later. I'm out. Peace. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop. Won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.